Amanda Kicker survived a near-death experience Saturday. Now she's learning just how loved she is in this Prince William County community. Around 8.15 Saturday morning, Amanda Kicker stopped at this Exxon along the Prince William Parkway in Woodbridge to put some air into her tires, a seemingly mundane task that now this 27-year-old will never forget. It was the most excruciating feeling. When she got out of her Hyundai Sonata, she didn't realize it was still a neutral. She then panicked. Because if I don't have a car, I can't get to work, I can't support my kids. I can't get paid. Kicker first tried to stop the car from its front, then ran to its side. And I either tripped on the curb or my foot got stuck underneath the tire. She then fell underneath it. And both tires, driver's side tires, just ran over, right over my chest. When that tire went over me, like, I felt and I heard my bones crack. Kicker has broken ribs, scapula, pelvis, knees, burns too. But she said her first concern wasn't her health. I said when the car ran over me, was my kids, what am I going to do about my kids? She's a special education teacher here at nearby Freedom High School. And that was the first thing I was worried about, was someone being there for those kids. That commitment to her children is part of the reason the family she babysits calls her a godsend. It's also why the community stepped up to make her a GoFundMe page. Her car ended up totaled after it rolled into a pond. She has tons of medical bills, too, with no insurance. Being a first-year teacher in this county, I don't get short-term or long-term benefits. All she wants to do is give thanks. It means more. It means more than I can express. I've never, I've never been at a school or an area where I have felt so safe. John Henry, W USA Nine. What a special woman! Her first thought it was for those, those children. Kids. Yeah. And you know, I, she said something about not getting support with insurance as a first Long year term, teacher. Yeah. I mean, we've got to do better if we Clearly. want our teachers to be able to continue to do what they love. Mm -hmm. And you know, in the meantime, if you can help in any way, we posted a link to the GoFundMe page on our website, wusa9.com.